Well, I moved here uh, when I was 16. That's when I came here to try and be a part of the company, but my first experience with Houston Ballet was when I was 13. It was my first summer away from home, so I came for a summer program. So I came when I was 13, and then when I was 14, and then when I was 15. Um, I came three, three summers in a row, and I only spent one summer away from home elsewhere, but then at the end of that summer is when I came here for the year. So it's always been my go-to place, you know, ever since the first time I left home. I'm really moved by music, in, you know, in general, and in dancing, I can't help but sometimes you, I have to remove myself from it a bit because I can very quickly interpret the music how I hear it and that sometimes matches up with how a choreographer hears it and what they want from it but sometimes it doesn't so I think that it can be a benefit and sometimes it, it's also a challenge because I have to like make myself step back and understand how they hear it. It's part of why I love dancing actually is, is because I get to express what I hear in music and feel in music with my body. So it's like the best of both worlds kind of thing. I remember doing Yuri Killian's Petite Mort. I remember all the shows of that. And I don't know if it's because when I was little that was the first video that was shown to me of really good contemporary ballet that was going on in the world right now. And then when we knew we were going to do that ballet, I just got so excited because it was a, a really big memory of mine that connected to something that I really enjoy now, which is I enjoy classical and contemporary ballet. I enjoy getting to like move in new and different ways that are not what you're used to doing, like pushing yourself in a new way. I feel, I have to mention Marie, of course. I feel like so attached to that ballet that it doesn't feel like a role to me. Marie is in, it's in a category of its own in my mind and in my heart. It's just, it's something that when we do it, it hurts me almost as much as it makes me feel happy to do it. That's definitely something that I will never forget or never not feel that that's really special to me. It is a fairy tale career. It's like, you know, little girls want to be ballerinas and little boys want to be firemen or policemen or whatever. But it, it's hard, you know. It's anything that is so rewarding. I feel like it's not as rewarding unless it's a struggle sometimes. And so there, there are definitely parts of it that are, it's, it's hard on your body. It's hard schedule-wise, you know, we spend so much of our time wrapped up around it um, when we're here and when we're not and but just the, the fact that we get to do this for a living that we get to do we get to make art and um, express feelings and emotions and stories and just move your body when you get moving it just feels good you know you're you release endorphins and it's a good feeling thing to be active but it's also you know it comes with with sacrifice, just like anything that is really beautiful and really worth it.